Don't want to leave coach waiting. Nah, he must love you. <laughs> That's not the impression I get. Look, you'll be fine, all right? If he gives you any problems, you let me know, all right? I'll take care of him. All right, man. Sounds good. MP, what's up, man? Everyone's so, been talking about you. Absolutely, and we've been hoping you'd stop by and get a few games in. So you're Shakedown and Chris, right? Yeah, my manager was telling me you guys have the best runs in the city, huh? That's right, as long as you join Elite. Uh, don't listen to him. Everyone knows that Roz is where the real hoopers play. All right, so fill me in. What are you guys talking about? Affiliations. They're like private clubs for the city's best street ball. Mm -hmm. And they've got okay. their own courts with their own sense of style. Over at Rise, we got a futuristic mech suit meets warehouse kind of vibe. It's dope. It, right. It's okay. I mean, Elite is much cooler. Please. We've got a pirate ship, Shake. A pirate ship, and it's huge. That makes sense. That's what he will sell you on. Elite's all about being flashy. There is nothing wrong with having a little fun. No, I'd rather win. And that's what you'll do if you join Rise. We get everyone involved. Play a team game. Uh, you can't just win without breaking down the defense off the dribble. Mm -hmm. It's funny you mentioned defense. I don't think I've ever seen you play. Yo, guys, Please, guys. I will get on the court and lock you up. Guys, on, I man. will lock him up. Okay. We'll, we'll see about okay. that. Uh, what were you saying? I was trying to say, uh, what do I have to do to join an affiliation? Uh, well, normally we have to put you through a probationary period, mm -hmm. but you're in the NBA, so we'll waive all that. That's true. Yeah. Just stop by whenever you've made your decision. I'll be right over there by the elite entrance. And I'll be over there at Rocks. You might be wondering what this giant building right in the heart of the city is all about. This is the NBA arena for your chosen team. It's the place to go when you're ready to play a game and advance your season. And there's a whole lot more going on there than just playing game shake. Be sure to spend some time behind the scenes in the tunnels too. You'll find your locker room there, as well as the assistant coach, who will set you up with a variety of goals while keeping you up to date with what's going on with the team. Coach Tucker showed me some photos of the gym you and your manager set up. Yeah, I wanted to work on my game 24-7. Something wrong with our training facility? It doesn't have any candy in the vending machines. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just wanted to make sure I didn't have any excuses. You know how it is. I do. And that work ethic of yours is something we all love about you. Thank you. You're going to fit our culture like a glove. Well, I'm excited to be here. I feel like uh, this is a perfect place to start my career. Fantastic. Well, then why don't we talk about our goals for the season then? As a former player, I understand how important it is for an organization to clearly communicate its expectations, and I just want to make sure that we're all on the same page to start the season. Let's do it. So you probably won't be shocked to learn we'd like to run it back and win another chip? <laughs> yeah, I figured we were, <laughs> we were aiming pretty high, right? Yeah, that's, that's a lot of pressure on a rookie to mm. come into a situation where anything less than perfection is a failure. Right. The good news is you got some very talented teammates and the mm. best coaching staff in the league. So you just do what you're supposed to do. I'm sure everything will work out fine. You know, I'm just looking forward to figuring out how I can fit in and how I can find ways to contribute. Glad to hear that. Yep, this is the team game. But the team only succeeds if each individual pulls their weight. Right. So that's why Coach Tucker is going to help you set your personal goals for the first half of the season. We've got some strong opinions on what you should focus on, but we'd like to get your input, too. Okay. This is a collaboration. That's great, because I have been visualizing exactly how I want my career to be. Visualizing? Yeah. Huh. You know, like meditation and manifestation, mm -hmm. that sort of thing? Well, why don't you manifest some opinions on this list of potential goals for the first half of the season? Mm -hmm. you know, let me know if anything speaks to you. You want me to just pick one? There's a lot to work on at this level, always. And you'll do a little bit of everything, but we find that giving our players a list of uh, specific goals to work on for the first half of the season is the mm -hmm. best way to drive development. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm with it. It also allows us to give you some milestones to track your progress. We'll even highlight on our schedule some key games to use as measuring sticks. Ah, uh, that's that communication that you were talking about. Exactly. Yeah. Go ahead. Pick a goal. All right, look. 
I want to win the NBA Cup. So do all the top contenders. Which is why we need to make it a priority. When we go into those playoffs, I want to have that psychological edge. And the NBA Cup gives us that. Can't say I disagree. Solid choice, MP. Okay. Fantastic. <laughs> Wish being a GM was always this easy. <laughs> oh, uh, one more thing. Yep. We got Media Day coming up. Oh, I love Media Day. It's always been fun for me as a fan, so this will be cool. Our PR director, Donna Chase, she's going to walk you through everything. She's great. You're going to love her. Brian, anything you want to add? Just keep working. Yeah, we'll talk more about your spot in the rotation as we get closer to the season opener. All right. Appreciate your time. Look forward to building something special here. So do we. All right. Thank you. Have a good one. You too.